This is part six of building the Lego City. Quite a lot of progress has happened already. Obviously there's five other videos you can check out in my channel. We've already built the raised section with a railway tunnel running underneath and we can now drive the train, although it doesn't really go very far. We continued the raised section last time and today we're gonna finish off that end by finishing that bit of the city wall and seeing where it goes. So it is quite a plain wall made of standard 2x4 and 2x2 bricks. We do have some features on it, but it's going to have buildings in front of it eventually, mostly a railway station and other industrial buildings. So for now there's not too many other features because it's going to be covered up, but I might come back and add some in the future. One half of those 2x4 bricks supports the front of the new road system plates which I've used throughout the city. And those continue all the way along to the end and we'll find out where they go in a minute. Along the back I've got some 8x16s and all of those are resting on smooth plates so they can be removed and we can put buildings on them later. The front of that 2x4 brick section along with a plate to make it the same height as the road is to support the city wall which runs throughout the whole length of the layout so far. These are some masonry style bricks in dark tan and along the top we have smooth plates. Those features are to hold street lamps and again that's consistent with the rest of the city. So where that road runs into the backboard at the moment, we're going to build a mountain range with a nice tunnel into it so it looks like the road goes somewhere. I haven't built many rocks although I did have a quick practice and you can find the pictures on my Instagram and the links in the description to this video. I just bought lots of slopes and I'm using some modified bricks so we can put some slopes with the studs not on top and slowly build up that mountain range. It's going to be a fairly simplistic tunnel entrance for now, we're just going to build a square section and build that in dark bluish grey while the rest of the mountain and the rocks are in light bluish grey so we get that contrast. And that tunnel is consistent with the other tunnel and bridge entrances in and out of the city at the other end. I wanted to add some more detail to the light bluish grey bricks so I've got some dark bluish grey 1x1 one one slopes which I'm just going to stick all over and mostly those are getting stuck onto the studs which aren't on top facing forwards stuck on those slopes stuck on the modified bricks unless there isn't one nearby and then I might cheat and put it onto one of the other surfaces. And while I was there I thought I'd add some other greenery and a bit more detail just to set off that mountain range. Pretty happy with that for now, I do need to put something in the tunnel entrance, probably a piece of grey card or something so it doesn't look like it heads into the sky. I may increase the size of this as well to make another tunnel for the railway track Although it's possible we'll just push that board down and make the layout even longer, in which case we won't need to, but we'll need to increase the rock range behind it into the next section. We now need to continue our raised city wall as we've extended the layout on the upper raised section. That meets the skybox and bridges the gaps between the buildings, and we need to do that on the left hand side of the sports shop we built last time. All of my buildings are of course mounted on smooth plates so they lift out that makes it much easier to build behind them. As with the building on the right, there's going to be a gap in the city wall behind the buildings because it just saves bricks and it'll allow me to run wires in more easily later for lighting. On the left hand side I'm going to have some arch features so I'm just getting the spacing right there to get the arches and some smooth plates underneath them. In reality those arches will be much higher on the top of some masonry stacked bricks which will be behind them. So I just need to brick all of that up to get the same height as the city wall as we've had on the rest of the layout, apply that bridge that's going to go over the road and then we can start building up the other side. This is going to be mostly hidden so again it's just a plain wall. And as before we've got some masonry bricks on top with some cones on top of those and smooth plates to make a kind of railing along the top so we can have minifigures looking over and they don't fall over.
As before, my paving slabs have a curb stone in dark tan which matches the base plate and also light bluish grey 1x2 tiles in a very special pattern and that's again consistent throughout the city. And we can pop in one of our street lamps to match. So let's drop those buildings back in and of course we won't see the gap in the city wall any longer so I think that looks pretty okay. Just stick one tree in there to cover the gap and I think that sets it off nicely and of course that city wall on the ray section will continue into buildings along the new ray section to its left. Now it's time to attend to this blank area which I previously said was going to be a market square and like the others this lifts out on smooth plates so we can work on it elsewhere. I've already worked out roughly where I want all of the fixtures and various other items so now it's just a case of continuing that paving pattern all over trying to fill up the gaps as best we can. That's all the paving done and I've left studs where I'm going to fix things, so let's put down some boxes with vegetables for our fruit and vegetable cellar. He's also got a little table with some pumpkins, and the next guy along is running a bric-a-brac stand with all sorts of random items I've had left over from other sets. It wouldn't be a market square without a baker selling some bread, so let's have a bread stand. But we need some people to sell the items, these guys look like typical market traders. This one seems to have made rather a lot of money. And of course we need a chef who's the baker selling his bread. It wouldn't be complete without some canopies in colourful colours and patterns. So I think that's pretty good, just made out of random bits and pieces I had and all the fruit and veg was off Bricklink. And we can pop that back in where we got it from and I think it looks pretty good on that corner although we could move it later, of course all of my buildings and all of my main features are mounted on those smooth plates to make them quite modular which means we can move them around. So that is all for this time but we'll be coming back to build some more buildings on the new raised and lower section in the future. And don't forget to check out the Creative Brick Builds Instagram for almost daily updates and sneak peeks and pictures of what's coming up. And if you haven't seen my ocean coral reef diorama then that's definitely one you should check out in my channel. Most of the bricks have been recycled now into the city that you've just been watching but I'm planning a version 2 at some point in the future, probably with better rocks. I used quite a few LEGO City Ocean Exploration sets in this one, various submarines, the Ocean Exploration Sea Base and also the big ship which is actually mounted on top of those plastic pipes which were filled with water and had fish tank bubblers in them so we actually got that effect of air bubbling through the sea. 